Good evening and welcome to Cookie Land's Global Cooking Challenge. Tonight is night three, our third night of three of cooking the food of Sweden. This is our last shot at Scandinavia here on the challenge as we work our way through all 193 UN member states cooking their food. Uh, tonight we'll be making Swedish meatballs over egg noodles and um, give me one second here. Oh my god, I'm destroying my thing here. Uh, whoop whoop, uh, whoop whoop back to you, uh, Richard. How you doing? Uh, so give me one second here while I... Well, obviously, uh, Sweden is right there in Scandinavia. And right now I'm doing a little tap dance because uh, I'm trying to get my lens going here with one hand. So hold hold on just one moment. Let me put you in, in the hold bucket here. Spin around if I can. There we are. Hi there. So um, that's what we're doing, and I'm trying to get my uh, my stuff together uh, in more than more ways than one, as you'll see in a bit, because uh, I am short an ingredient and I'm waiting for it to arrive. So here, this one hurt a bit. Hi. Now you can see more. I'll see more. So, put you back in here. So, uh, again, this is the Global Cooking Challenge. Uh, started in 2012, uh, learning to cook by doing a different uh, country in alphabetical order. And uh, now we're on week number 167 of 193. So, uh, entering the home stretch, as it were. Um, the. Uh, so doing Sweden. So, uh, and everything goes on the blog at clickyland.com. You can find everything you missed on the, uh, from previous countries, uh, what, uh, what went down, pictures, links to the original recipes. We're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Instagram, and now YouTube, in case you're even watching this on YouTube. And, uh, of course, uh, now we have a globe to go with this. Uh, next go around, we'll start putting pins on them, but uh, as is obvious, I'm doing this backwards. Uh, Sweden, right there. Beep. So we're listening to Swedish music, as you can tell. Uh, thanks for the restream. Uh, so, this is Swedish meatballs. There are a variety of different recipes, and it was tricky for me finding the right one uh, because uh, there's only two of us, and I don't want like a giant amount of leftovers, which is a perpetual problem around here. Um, mm, try to angle it so you don't get too much glare from the lights. There. Okay, so we're going to start stuff, putting stuff in a bowl uh, while we wait. And part one of putting the stuff in a bowl is uh, my veal. Uh, I had gotten veal for a previous uh, dinner uh, some time ago, and uh, apparently veal, you can't have them split a package. So I had half of it in the freezer uh, until now, and I've been defrosting it uh, in a bag in water, and it looks like it's actually defrosted. I really hope it's okay. So this is um, supposed to be about a third a pound of the chopped veal. So into the bowl you go. Uh, hello, who we got there? Oh, okay, went away. Little shy person. And if you're wondering why I'm taking pictures, it's all for the blog at cliffyland.com. Uh, as people arrive, I'll get into discussion of what's going on in my head. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, I'm gonna put this aside while I peel and chop an onion, which is always exciting. Uh, I'm doing half the recipe uh, that um, this calls for, because that uh, I, I don't need that many meatballs. So I'm using a small onion. Hopefully that will suffice. And I need garbage. Garbage. Whoop. So, oh, I've been having thoughts. Onion time is always confessional period, isn't it? So, uh, but basically everything's gonna go into this bowl. Uh, it keeps seeing these things saying you can use a food processor or a mixer. I don't really know how I do that with meat. Uh, just don't really know. Uh, but we're going to grate this onion here, once I get it peeled. 
and uh, we really want the juices from this as well. And you know what I'm going to do? Uh, here I'm going to use the food processor uh, because I have it. Uh, Batman! Hey Batman! How you doing? Yo yo! Long time no see. How's it going? Are you keeping the world safe from supervillains? I want to know. Okay, I just made things go boom over here. So I'm going to use the food processor for my onion. This will be loud, but it will be brief. So, uh, and like I said, we're listening to Swedish music today. Where we we eschewed the classical and dance because we did that last time, and that got a little morose. So we're going all all, all club all the time. So uh, hold on to your earlobes or your ears. Uh, thank you for the uh, follow. Uh, I need a name. That's uh, hopefully there's a name there. Joshalu. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, follow back. Uh, and, same person, yes, and thank you for the follow and the like. So here goes, this could be loud, so hold, hold, hold on, you know, you may want to hit the little mute button there for a second. <laughs> that was, well, that was graded. I think we're okay with that. Didn't take too long. A lot faster than doing it by hand, that's for sure. Slightly about as messy, but we'll see. So how are things in your world, Batman? Uh, how's Gotham? Uh, okay, I'm gonna get a spoon to clear that out. Um, one of the things that happened, in addition to anything else I might get into as I babble, um, is that uh, I just went to the grocery store. I mean, like, just now. I came back, I got my pork and beef and some beer. And got home and started putting everything down because it's been kind of a day. And what do you know, um, I don't have an egg. I need an egg, I don't have an egg. So I sent the husband out for my egg uh, on his way home from work. So he will be arriving at some point with that. And I can't really proceed until I have that. But in the meantime, I'll do what I can. Uh, I feel kind of, but I did have a time. I did have a timetable on this. This uh, doesn't really seem, seems more shredded than graded, if I'm being honest. Should I mash it anymore? Ah, Tammy, hey, and now the eyes are having the reaction, which normally doesn't happen. I think it needs to be more graded than that. Hey, Lavender Femchi, thank you for the restream. Thank you very much. It's nice seeing you. I haven't seen you for a while. How are things in California, right? Oh my God. This just asking for that to bother my eyes. I'm stalling here today. Um, been having thoughts about mash it. Mash it. You know what, um, I think I'm gonna run it through the food processor with the other attachment. Which is why I'm putting it in this bowl. Uh, Cause it needs to be in a different consistency for it to be in the bowls, I think. So, oh my eyes. You know, if, you, if, you're, if you're a watcher of this, you know that that normally doesn't affect me. But this time it did. So let's see. Uh, so back, back in bowl. Back in bowl. R.I.P. Vince Liber Libertini. Back in bowl. Okay. So let's try that this way. Oh, my eyes. Okay, on and food processor go. <laughs> NYC, I'm good cooking. NYC, oh, I'm sorry, I must have blanked out. How are things, uh, it must be cold. It's finally cold down here. I did get to run my 10 miles today and it was nice weather. It was overcast, so I just did it. If I had had more time, I would have done like 13 or something, but uh, 
because there's only so many cool days we get around here and I might as well enjoy them. Ah, okay, onions. So now they're more processed. So into our bowl they go. And um, like I said, um, 13 minutes. He said he might be here by 6.10. So uh, if I can, if I can take 13 minutes to do this, and he'll come running, running in, holding an egg, and I'll be ready. The reason I started uh, at this time, uh, considering there aren't that many steps to this particular recipe, is that uh, um, every time I had to make something where I have to make a whole lot of certain something. It always takes me longer than I than I want, and then food, then dinner is late. So that's that's my reasoning. That's my excuse for why I'm unprepared at this hour. We're not fully prepared anyway. Ah, okay, hold on. Moving stuff. Okay, so onions are in, and uh, and now we're gonna add our uh, just purchased beef and pork. So we have our ground sirloin, because I wanted ground sirloin. And it's about a third of a pound. In you go. And spoon. This goes away. And our ground pork. How's it going, Tammy? Hope your day's gone well. Mine's not really, but it's a me problem. Okay, ground pork in two. So here's where I would normally be adding the egg. Hold on, let me clean this off. Now the cheeky wiki. Catch, yes, yes, I always catch it, but thank you for that. Um, and then I post it on the blog at Cliffy Land, and then I post it on YouTube, uh, but only on YouTube you don't see the comments. But on Catch you do, but they're on Catch too. Uh, okay, there's another thing. Uh, the heavy cream. I hope I have enough. I used some for recipe uh, for Swaziland last week, and some for that amazing, what did I do last time? It was so good. Uh, oh, the lamb stew. The, the, uh, the lamb stew with the dill. Oh, really, really good. Uh, and just as good as the salmon that I did like before. Uh, going well, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, so uh, I divided up this recipe and I hope I did that correctly. Uh, okay, I hope I have enough. I really, really do. Okay, I'm going for a third a cup of cream. I think my hand's working. Again, these are all Swedish uh, bands and stuff that we're playing here. Although I have to keep talking over it, otherwise the copyright gods all jump on, down my throat on YouTube. And I really don't know how it works when you like eliminate a song from your clip on YouTube. I mean, you just get like, does it just silence you for that, you know, 30 second period or whatever? I don't know. I haven't gone back and checked. So cream, heavy cream, goes in, and now we're adding, we have the grated onion, so uh, the onion, the veal, the pork, the beef, the heavy cream, and now we're adding nutmeg. Danny, thank you for the restream. Um, yeah, Meerkat, thank you for the like. You people are really great. I really appreciate you so much. I really do. You have no idea. Uh, and nutmeg, nutmeg. We got our nutmeg here. Uh, since I halved the recipe, I wasn't sure, you know, how much to have in terms of flavor things. Just joining. What's for dinner? Thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, who, who are we talking to here? Emma. Emma. Thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, we're making Swedish meatballs. Um, hey, Danny. Uh, and thanks for the like and the restream. Uh, so making Swedish meatballs here. 
this is part of our global cooking challenge. I started in 2012 uh, to learn to cook by doing a different country in alphabetical order, uh, working my around, way around the world. We are in year four, week 167, night three of cooking Sweden. These are Swedish meatballs. And we're serving those over egg noodles, which I will be uh, sort of prepping uh, in moments also. Uh, so I'm using, what, half a teaspoon? Yes, half a teaspoon of this. Um, it's nice to know some people are still a meerkat. Uh, it's kind of what I, kind of what's been in my mind today. Because people ask me, and they've asked, and, and I've mentioned this before, people have asked me since like week two, like, what do you do when you're done? And I'm like, back then it was like, I've got four years to go. You know, I think I have time to think about that, but now I only have a few months to go, like less than six months before I hit Zimbabwe. So I have plans for what goes after, aside from a vacation that the husband has been begging for. Um, but, uh, but aside, but I've been thinking about the food side of it, I haven't been thinking about the technology side of it. Uh, so, uh, we're adding a generous amount of salt and pepper. Uh, mm, I'm running out of pepper. Add pepper to the groceries list. I've added it. Okay. A uh, generous amount of salt and pepper. Uh, did not say how much. Um, generous amount of salt and pepper. One thing I, I've noticed from the uh, lamb recipe also, they, they said, oh, here's how much salt uh, you can use, Swedes would use twice as much. And I'm thinking, really, they do? Do they like really super, super salt their food? I did not know that. Now I know I can't taste uh, the raw meat here. Uh, so I should have an egg, but uh, if he's gonna arrive, when he said he's gonna arrive, I still have seven minutes. So I'm killing time. Amazing, amazing, who are you? Thank you. Uh, uh, hi, thank you, thank you for the uh, like and the restream there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get started on mashing this together. Uh, and then I'll add the egg later. And since I'm using my hands on the meatballs, that means digging out the gloves, which I normally only dig out when I am using hot peppers, uh, but not this time. Hey ho, hey ho. So here we go. Uh, I'll take a picture of the egg when it arrives. You know, I actually went. I was in such a panic. I started knocking on doors. Uh, let's just say my neighbors either didn't want to answer or they weren't home. I was like, I want to say, hey, I know I don't really know you, but can I have an egg? I'm kind of desperate. I have an audience that will be waiting and my meerkat scheduled feed will expire if I don't. I don't know if they would get that. Ah, shenanigans. Um, there's something else. Uh, yes, I need uh, half a cup of breadcrumbs in here, too. Yeah, Ducky, I did that. Uh, I remember that after I started mixing. I have the breadcrumbs. So, uh, I'm just going to burn through another pair of rubber gloves. That's what's going to happen. Uh, not bad fool. Thank you for the follow. So, we're mixing up our meatballs. Uh, this is what, like I said, winds up being a pound of meat. Okay. So, burning through pair of gloves number one. To do. Okay, because I forgot to add the meatball, the breadcrumbs. Ouch. Okay. Alrighty, a dinosaur died for those gloves. Now, where, oh, where did we hide our breadcrumbs? I hope I have enough. Really do. Half a cup. Half a cup. 
half a cup of red pearls. Three quarter, one half. Let's see how that goes. A. What do you think? That many. <laughs> Almost exactly. Just about. Just about. Just about. Okay. Um, the uh, particular recipe that I'm going from, which is, I mean, there's basically like one standard recipe for this. Uh, this one is from, uh, the late, you know, the layout is from the, uh, a global Table Adventures. A uh, great woman, she blogged her way cooking around the world and finished a few years ago and has a book deal and all that. Uh, one of several people who have, you know, actually one of the few people has actually made it all the way around. Uh, most people who have tried have given up, usually somewhere in the letter G. Sometimes they make it to M before they crap out. But we are an S. And we will hit Z in, I think, July. So, uh... Hold on for the fun. We are, do, I do have Do Not Disturb on, right? Yes, I do, okay. Uh, what my thoughts are, bear with me here since like I said, um, A, I'm killing time and B, I'm mixing stuff with my hands, uh, is Periscope. Hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, Const Constantino, how are you doing? Hello uh, and welcome, thank you for, uh, joining, we're making our Swedish meatballs. Um, I've been on Periscope doing this, on Periscope, now look, now I've been thinking about that all day. I've been on Meerkat doing this. Uh, actually I did start on Periscope. I started on Periscope when I cooked Norway, which is ironically the last time we tried a uh, Scandinavian dinner. Um, and I think I had like two people, or nobody. Um, and that was the first time I even tried ever cooking anyone watching me at all. And then I tried Oman, and I had like one guy watching, um, which was nice. And then I switched over to Meerkat, and uh, I really enjoyed the community, and I really do. Um, and I appreciate seeing all of you. Uh, it's just a personal anecdote. Uh, people used to ask me, you know, like, oh, what's, like, what's your favorite bar? And my favorite bar would always be the bar that was about to close. And I don't mean like close at 3 a.m., I mean close to go out of business because, you know, due to lack of clientele. Um, I didn't like crowds, you know, whatever. I like to be able to move around. Uh, that was my problem. Uh, it feels like that on Meerkat. I feel like I'm um, like the last, the last man standing. It's like everyone I know, everyone has moved to Periscope and I feel like it's, I'm gonna have to. I, I thought I would like switch off on phase two after I hit Zimbabwe, but you know, it just, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, I was wondering if I like do them simultaneously, you know, like have uh, one of the iPads up on Meerkat and the other one, the other thing done Periscope, but I need the third thing to take pictures. So uh, I don't know.